This influencer who walks around on the street and harasses people has become famous over the last couple of years. And it might be the internet's biggest mistake yet. Alright everyone, welcome back to the Unhinged Curtis Price Challenge. I want to wish you all a happy new year. Happy new year to you. What is it guys? New year, new me? What did I tell you last year about that? You should start on the 26th of December. It's done. Don't wait for the new year. Time to grind, baby. So Jack Doughty, a streamer who walks around on the street and harasses people for content. And when things get a little bit heated, his big bodyguards step in. Now, after watching this guy's content, I had to lay in the recovery position for about 30 minutes. I'm not going to lie, it's probably the worst thing I've ever seen. And it is a big problem. It's a huge problem. And we're gonna talk it here today. We're gonna talk about it. Now, although he is a degenerate and he does look like a child, I want to let you all know I am not picking on children today. He is indeed 20 years old. He is an adult, okay? And he acts like a child, I know. I mean, <laughs> guarantee if I didn't mention the age, in the comment section would be, why are you picking on children? This guy is 20 and this is how he acts. So let me show you this little taster real quick. Go. What? Well, probably gonna do. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he's hanging around dicks. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, this man is completely unhinged. He walks around all big, you know. Look at my muscles or whatever. He starts to square up on people, and then his big bodyguard steps in. But, you know, these people are in the shopping centre minding their own business. Ladies and gentlemen, what would you do if you were walking around a shopping centre, and let's just say you're gonna go into Taco Bell, and this kid was walking around acting all big on you? What would you do? Yeah, exactly. You can't do anything because he's got his big black bodyguard there. Now, even though that was a little taster, okay, we do have some bigger things that happened. A little bit more into his character. So this guy is also an OnlyFans manager. So he manages girls' OnlyFans and he takes a little cut of the percentage that they earn on OnlyFans. And we could just kind of say that Dak Doughty is kind of the new wave of streamers. The new hype, if you get it. Remember when Jake Paul and Logan Paul started to blow up? This is it. Just more fucked up and more inbred. Yeah. But he does get what he deserves, things definitely do get heated, and there's a lot to come in this video. Let me show you another example of what I mean by his bodyguard stepping in. Like, you know, he talks a big gate, but as soon as things start to get heated, his bodyguards are right there. Take a look at this. What? Yo, just don't talk to me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Alright, relax. What? I didn't say shit. You guys. Don't record me. You guys are trying to act. He's acting big. He's acting big in it. Listen, come here. Listen. I'm here. I can hear you. They come. You they come. Recording. I'm gonna. This is drama. I don't care. You're gonna get kicked out of school. You're gonna have to punch your parents. I'm not gonna get kicked out of shit. Don't touch me. 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 Don't you guys shouldn't drink if it makes you angry then. Angry drugs, girl. All right, so as you can see, hiding behind the bodyguards again. He's got about half a testicle in his sack. But not to mention as well, you know, he's also with the new wave of showing off how much money he has and all the new gold chains he has and watches and everything. His character is definitely surrounded by his riches. You know, there's quite a lot of videos on his channel where he talks about his Lamborghinis. I don't understand. Human experience shouldn't be about materialistic things. It should be about spirituality. So... Mm. Already, he's on the wrong track. So I firstly would say to Jack Doughty, he needs to spend some time meditating and start thinking about the way he holds himself as a man. Is this really the message we want to give off for masculinity here? And this guy has no individualism whatsoever. I can go on Instagram and scroll down and see a bunch of guys showing their supercars. He's not special. But also, it's the message he brings off that having lots of money and being rich means that you can harass people on the street. Like, I can walk around with my bodyguards because I've got so much money and literally harass people because I'm better than them. That's the message I'm receiving from them. And I don't think that's a good message to give out into the world. So, nice from Jack Doughty. Now let's take a look at one of the clips from his stream where he got Sneeko's ex-girlfriend to flash herself on camera. Yo, you bitch. Oh, right, hey, pop a tick. I would, but you'll get mad. Yeah, yeah. No, I won't. It's Are you sure? I'll actually flash my... Do it. Don't play with me because I that's was... That's what I hey, told you. Hey, ask him. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Look away, look away, not do it. Go. Oh, shit. Oh, That was too fast. <laughs> Pop a tit. Pop a tit. That's kind of weird, bro. That's very weird. Pop a tit. What? 
the fuck? Is it really, you know, the kind of thing you want to show on stream? I mean, how many children are watching you? Guaranteed. There's no grown-ups watching, all right? Children watch his stream. Oh, he just doesn't care, does he? Just pop a tit, and Pop a tit for the 13 year old. so... God, that's brilliant, that is. And, you know, it's 2024 now, and Sneeko's already taken an L, so... <laughs> As a woman, is this really how you want to show yourself? Your, your breasts will be on stream forever now. That clip can be found forever. I just don't really get the decision behind flashing yourself in front of the camera, like... Is that how you want to hold yourself as a woman? Really? That that's how that, that's what you're about. You're about flashing thousands of people on a stream who are kids. <sighs> All right. Well, maybe I'm old-fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Later on in the video, we're going to look at what happens when his bodyguards can't get there in time. Let's just look at when he was younger and he couldn't afford bodyguards. Don't don't take pictures of me. I'll break your camera. Mm, anyway. What's up, dude? I doubt it. I'm 15. Yeah. You're I, don't jail. I don't care if you're 15. I'm going to jail. You, re you respect me. All right, and you respect me. Oh, hey! Ricky! 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 Okay, so the clip here says, when a Walmart employee punched Jack. All right, I definitely don't condone hitting children, but first of all, I'm not sure if he punched him or just snatched his camera out of his hand. But as you can see, Jack Daugherty is screaming in worry. Ricky! Ricky! What the fuck's Ricky gonna do? He's looking very nervous, very, very shy, if you will, uh, afraid to, of confrontation. And understandable, 15 years old. But something happened along the way, he just got rich, didn't he? And now he thinks he's the big balls, you know? You're not, pal. You, you're not, unfortunately. Everyone's laughing at you. I am. That's for sure. So now let's look at the bodyguards he eventually did hire. What kind of people are they? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! I'm just saying, why? 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 He did. Then he proceeds to say, I'll take you all on one by one. You're meant to be a security guard, dude. You're not supposed to be the main character here. So, <laughs> what's going on? I just think he really does need to sit back and kind of review his situation. Start to have different morals that you hold yourself to. And I think right now his morals are all messed up. I think it's all about, for him, it's all about making money. It's all about creating the, the next craze on the internet. And it's all about attention. Three things you should never live by. <laughs> never. It should be something like, I'm not going to try to tell you what to do here, but it should be something like treating people with kindness, helping people whenever you can, trying to unlock new levels of spirituality, you know, maybe turn to Jesus. I laugh because I don't want to come off preachy, but this guy needs Jesus. All right, now we've come to the point in the video now where we look at someone who actually fought back. This is the most ridiculous situation. Jack Daugherty is acting innocently, he hasn't done nothing wrong, but he's in public causing problems and there's kids around. I mean, of course, you know, he obviously doesn't care that there's kids around. I mean, his entire audience is kids, and he doesn't care what he shows or says on that. We got out of there, motherfuckers! Let's go! Watch your language, there's kids around here. I didn't say any curse words. What'd I say? Just watch your language. What'd I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, shirt, your kids can't read, though. What are you talking about? Your kids can't read, can they? <laughs> I'm sure your kids me. watch. Right, you, get away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from uh, me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. Watch your kids. Go wa walk away. So he's walking around, you know, shouting out curse words. He says he didn't swear. It's the principle of walking around in public around children and trying to be respectful around them. I saw the other day in front of a child and I didn't see the child and I literally put my hand over my mouth. And the mother thanked me. I would rather be that guy than this guy. You know what I'm saying? Second of all, his bodyguard is walking around with F you on his shirt. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't scream alpha energy, I don't know what does. I mean, only a dumbass would walk around with F you on his shirt. I mean, do you know what I mean? And then Jack Daugherty begins to defend himself by saying... He wasn't the one that started it. You spoke to me first. Yes, he spoke to you because of the actions that you were doing. He had something to say to respect him and his children. All you had to say was, I apologize. That's what a normal human would have done. But this guy thrives on attention. He thrives on making a scene because that's what gets views. But then this delicious moment happens next. Watch your kids. Go wa walk away. Now, his girlfriend 
absolute complete dumbass shouting what is wrong with you what is wrong with your boyfriend this is the kind of man you want to be with this guy the way the way this guy holds himself by causing problems in public disturbing the peace Jack Doherty, you really need to like really sit down and have, and have a look at your life. I mean, is this really what you want to be known for? You know, I mean, it's not all about clout and the Lambos and the supercars. It's also about when you leave this world, what kind of mark you're going to leave behind. And is this what you want to be known for? So he got his ass handed to him a little bit, but then obviously they all ended up on the floor. Once again, Jack Doherty wins, obviously. However... His bodyguard wasn't quick enough to catch this. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's fine. We're cool. Whoa, 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 Douche! Douche! Yo, what the fuck? Pussy new shit, pussy. Pussy. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't... You probably should just shouldn't have said anything after you punched him, you know? You punched him, that would have been good enough, and then it was just the... Pussy. <laughs> I mean, you know, perfect. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, his bodyguards wasn't quick enough for that one. And what does Jack Doherty do? What does he do? Does he, you know, come back, you know, and start fighting because he's a big man after all? He's always picking on people in public. No. He walks away. Which, that is a good thing. But it does show what kind of man he is, doesn't it? If his security guards can't be there to defend him, he'll try and get out of the situation and run away. Which he did. He didn't try and throw a punch back. He didn't try and... You know, rush at the guy, he didn't take a step forward like that. He literally turned around, walked away with his hand on his head and disappeared. I wonder what would happen if he harassed people in public when there's no security about. He wouldn't last two minutes, would he? He would say something and then run away. It's what would happen. So really, what we can blame all of this on is the fact that he's rich. Because he can hire security guards to defend him. Not just that, I think the money's gone a bit to his head. And he thinks he's the boss, he thinks he's the... The top dog, if you will. So, Jack Doherty really is the, one of the internet's biggest mistakes. Making this guy famous was one of the internet's biggest mistakes yet. Send in a horrible message, and it's a big mistake. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I, you know, have a different vibe in this video. Give a lot of advice and stuff, you know. I think Jack Doherty really needs to take some time to just relax and take a step back. So, I, I, I do believe that. I think he needs to analyse how he holds himself. I think how you hold yourself is probably one of the most important things. How you, you know, the morals you live your life by. This guy doesn't have any morals. His morals are bitches and lambos. So Now, with that said, I want to leave you with a verse from the Bible. John chapter 3, verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, he must be born again. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you all in the next one. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.